Uh, MMK, thank you for 15 months. Thank you, MMK. Any reason why you chose Wretch over uh, over others? The main reason why I chose the Wretch is that I am a big idiot. I'm a big time idiot. Hammerwolf, you have the worst timing. Hammerwolf, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. It's like the worst timing. Thank you so much, Hammerwolf. I really appreciate it, dude. From, from Death Stranding. Uh, oh my lord, what is going on? They're throwing books at me. Hit me with a globe. Damn, this is wild. Okay, so it kind of seems, I think I understand what's going on now. Phase two. I don't know. Man, I really admire a lot of the bosses in this game. Um, the boss fights feel very varied in this game. I should I shouldn't praise the boss fight before I finish it. Oh 
boy. Oh boy. A singular strike. Chazrin, thank you for the 14 months. Oh boy. Ah, oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born. No oh boy. <laughs> oh no. She's pissed now. Oh boy. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Oh boy. Send word far. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, just hurry up and Otherwise, kick my ass, would you? Of Karia, Granala of the full moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. This is a lot of wit this is a lot of build up and she's gonna like one shot me or something. moon at me I'm gonna lose it <laughs> thy fate lieth under my moon for a moon at my <laughs> what the hell <laughs> wow okay okay that was a thing that was definitely a thing bits all right, so we got a shortcut. Now, are we gonna have to do both phases again, I wonder? Probably. We know what to do in the first phase. The first phase isn't quite so bad. We can kind of blast through it as well with my weapon art, which is nice. Uh, Duchess, thank you for the bits. Uh, Mr. King, thank you for the bits. Uh, Chazrin, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. That was a hell of a thing, man. Okay, maybe this has a slight run back. I was praising this game's run backs. Maybe this game has a couple of run backs. We, gotta, we have to send the elevator back down here. Do I have to do both phases? Is this a FromSoft game or not? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> We're probably gonna have to do both. Okay. I'm surprised there's not like a another thing up here. Like another uh another one of those grace points. I'm surprised there isn't one. Okay. Uh yeah, it's not a terrible run back by any means, no. Okay, nobody is surprised here. That is a, uh, that's quite a long boss.
Ow. <laughs> yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a bit of greed. that one but that's fine That's a weird looking move. Am I playing this on PC? Yes, I am playing on PC. Yes. This is the most viewers you've had. I don't even know how many viewers I have right now. Oh, come on, man. Come on. That was bogus. Give me a break. What a what a crock. What a crock. That was bogus, dude. That was a lot of work to get there to get instantly killed. Yeah, I got hit by a lot of stuff. Have you had any problems? Uh, it's been a, occasionally it's a tiny bit choppy. So you can tell when it's going to be choppy. Like whenever I have to do one of the roaming dragon fights and like the tree is in the background and the fire particles are everywhere. That's that's where it gets a little choppy. Like just occasionally it's just a little choppy. Uh, I did have a crash last night, but for the most part, it's been mostly fine. The view distance is what gets you. Sonzer, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thank you, Sonzer. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks, dude. How many deaths per second? Uh, do I stream and play on the same rig? Yes, I do, actually. Pretty good at getting out of the first phase now. Oh, uh, it's my flail's weapon art. Excuse me. Oh, there she is. Jeez. Okay. I like how they all turn the face. Are right, you guys ready to get one shot again? <laughs> Who's ready to get one shot? Shrink it. 
Excuse me while I swing at the moon. Ow, the moon hurts. No, stop. God, man. I just can't get, like, the, the fact she's constantly running away from me. She's like, always. I feel like she's always running away from me. I can't close the distance. And like the wall of projectiles I'm being confronted with is so oppressive. Like it's oppressive, man. I, I haven't figured it out. I think I need to be... Okay. Didn't have enough for that. We did increase the amount we can uh, do with that. So, all right. I feel like we have to be patient and we have to wait for opportunities we know we can get and we can't we can't like run in we can't we can't just be willy-nilly kind of felt like i was trying to run in and get in and get damage as fast as i can but the projectiles are just there's just too many of them that do too many weird things so yeah like i can't when i see the moon i can't get close when i see the beams charging up i have to learn what she's doing and be more patient here. Uh, Kill Switch, thank you so much for the resub. J2 Duncan, thank you for the nine months. Thank you very much. Do I have range weapons? Uh, I, I have some bows, but I haven't attempted to really use them, to be honest. I haven't really attempted to use them. Yeah, Leroy Jenkins not going to go great. Are there magic resist runes? There's, I, I'm sure there's magic resistant stuff. I'm sure that there is. So, do you only have to hit them? You don't have to kill them? You see that? Yeah, I think all you gotta do is actually hit them. What do I think so far? Uh, I'm having a great time. I just realized when she does this attack, I think she's throwing corpses at me. Or no, she did she did she turn them into like bookshelves and throw them at me? Is that what she did? I see you. You curious what the all boss speed run? It seems like there is just a crazy amount of bosses. She fucking she made a moon already. All right, let's let's stay the hell away from this.
what to do about that, dude. I know, like... Maybe I should have run through the wave of projectiles she had set up. Maybe I should have run through, like, she had set up the, the crystal wave. Maybe I should have ran through that and dodged through it to get close. I mean, I feel like with the with the giant Kamehameha wave, I feel like you have to get close to properly avoid it. It's kicking my butt. It's kicking my butt. We love the moon. Ah, uh, Gambit, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. She's kicking my butt, man. Okay. We got it. That was definitely better, though. That was definitely better for sure. It was a little, that was definitely a lot better. Sneaky! Sneaky! Come here! Oh, no. Sneaky! Oh. Oh, no. You know. Are you alone, boy? Alone. All alone. I you sure. Well, you can't just stay here. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't go on my desk either. You can't stay there. You can't. If you don't want to stay there, you can't just walk around on my desk. Uh, Wagus, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, Wagus. Appreciate it. I like the chandeliers falling on these too. Okay. Spins doing work. All right. Bro, I hate the moon. I'm gonna go outside tonight and shake my fist at it. Oh. Bro, she is oppressive. She is oppressive.
You're kidding! What? Like, I, come on! What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Where was I supposed to go? Where was I supposed to jump? What was I supposed to do? Nothing, man! Oh, man! What was I supposed to do there? I don't know. I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Uh... The beam is both her deadliest thing that she does, and it's also your best opportunity to hit her. Because when she does the beam, like, you know, you can get in close, you can get a lot of hits, but you have to be in the right position. If you're too far away, it doesn't you can't do anything, man. Oh man. This is rough. This is really rough. Oh, I forgot to send the elevator back down. I blame the cat. Oh, you can't bring the horse into the fight. <laughs> you can't. There's a bonfire. There's no bonfire, dude. There's this. And there's this that doesn't open from this side. This guy's still running after me. Sorcerer leggings. There's a ladder. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Really? Oh, I guess we found the other way to this path. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's how you open this. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's up here? It's like, I thought it was like, oh, some crazy other path. We'll find it later. It's like, no, you just jump over there and you're good. This guy's just reading the book. Oh my God, leave me alone. No. Just want to see what's here. There's so many enemies. There are so many and they're just all machine guns. They're all machine gun sorcerers. Not just one spell, not just one shot. They're all machine gunners. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. People really like people really like Shrine of Amana, right? That was people's favorite area. People really like that. Let's maybe we should do that. Let's do that again. People like Shrine of Amana, right? They thought it was a really cool area. Let's let's do more of that. Maybe you should add spells. I mean, you'd have to focus on magic. And I first of all, I'm not gonna go farm to level up. I'm not gonna farm to do that. I might go, like, explore elsewhere. <laughs> I really just wanted to see what was over here. I can drink on a ladder. Uh, Slater, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you, Slater. Let's 
Listen, I'd be fine with fighting you. It's the sorcerer and you that I have a problem with, dude. Wasn't even close to that. Oh my goodness. Uh, Hunt Films, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you, Hunt Films. I really, really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Subbing spree. Okay, what's in the chest? Glintstone Scarab. Oh, and this is where I died. Jumping required. Uh, thank you so much, Hunt Films, for the 10 gift subs. Loot everybody. Thank you for the two months. Thank you very, or for the two gift subs. Thank you so much. Okay, so it seems like there's nothing over here. Yeah, the flail uh, builds up bleed. Flail builds bleed. So that was just a circle that didn't take me anywhere. Seems like there was nothing actually up there. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Are the golden rune things like souls? Yeah, the runes are like souls. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what they are. Well, unless I miss something here, I'm not seeing anything else. I thought maybe there was like a closer thing, but it seems like it seems like there isn't a closer bonfire or anything. I think that's just it, dude. I'm like maybe there's a closer bonfire. Flail builds bleed. Yes, yes. No big door. No, no big door. It seems like there is no faster way. So that's just you just got to do the run back. Bits. Definitely forgot you could go back to your body and collect your souls. Uh, I had like 8,000 when I died, um, I think. So I definitely, I lost like 8,000 souls or whatever, but man, I don't really care. It's fine. Uh, all right. We're actually like, we're really low on flasks here, actually. So are we... This is a debate parlor. You know, I feel like I really feel like we also haven't even fully explored the area. Like I feel like we we haven't really seen everything here. Let's go back here quickly. Behave, you're on the front page. I'll I'll do my best. I will do my best. What the heck? Great enemy felled? Uh, great channel. Uh, you have a great vibe here. Really glad you found my channel. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm on the front page, but uh, I think it's probably going to run out pretty soon. But if you're if you're here from the front page, uh, you are a delightful human being who smells... Uh, you smell wonderful, and uh, thank you for stopping by. And I hope you've enjoyed my stream. You just smell, you just smell divine. So, <laughs> Barb, stop. Subbing spree. Those are the challenge. I find them well. Uh, let's see. So we don't have. We only needed one more smithing stone here. Subbing God only Joe's. Spree. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. All go Matt. Thank you for the five gift subs. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Algo Matt. Uh, ashes of War. Oh, dude, we could actually change the Ashes of War. Oh, so we could actually edit my flail 
to do new uh damp to do a new thing that's kind of interesting Qu oh wait hang on hang on so this also changes like the effects of my weapon so this is like specific specifying my weapon too interesting interesting so this is kind of like infusing my spree. weapon with something. Well, I I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I honestly don't know which one is better or which one is worse. So I can infuse my weapon here. So this one would make it scale with strength. This one would make it scale better with that, and this would make it scale with faith. So I don't know if I want to do anything like that. Oh, I can sell the Remembrance of the Grafted for 20000 too. Interesting. Uh, holy crap, guys. Thank you so much. DD Frosty, thank you for the 11 months. Marimba Man, thank you for the five gift subs. Fernaliciousness, thank you for the resub. Vision, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, Zengir, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for your hard work. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Zengir. Uh, Inky, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Sure, let's use all these souls. Let's level up a little bit. Subbing spree. Jiffy Pop, thank you for the resub. Or thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. We also have the keys. There's an area. Did, did we open the area downstairs here yet? Have we done that? I don't know if we've done that yet. Do they have a hype train yet? Uh, thank you so much, Jiffy Pop. All right, I kind of want to do that, right? I kind of want to see what's down there too. Just using all my runes, I think it'd be nice to level up a little bit here. Uh, Ragarnok, <laughs> Barb Gabnon. Ragarnok, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Ragarnok. <laughs> Gabnon. We'll grab one more faith and we'll grab another vigor, I think. Okay, so where are, I wonder if anybody says something new. Greetings. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place the round table hold? Covert court. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. Although I'm still looking for Still looking for my own purpose. How's the soundtrack so far? Uh, music's been great. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I interpret the words of the fingers. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their grace. <laughs> That's one hell of a shocker. <laughs> that is going to be one hell of a shocker. Mick Breen, thank you for the 25 gift subs. Holy crap. Thank you, Mick Breen. Hunt Films, thank you for 10,000 bits. Cheers. Thank you, Hunt Films. Holy crap, dude. What is she saying? Uh, Mick Breen, thank you so much for the 25 gift subs. Uh, Hunt Films, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Seek to become Elden Lord. Let the words go. Touch the fingers. Rapture. Uh... Happy for your success in this great game. Receive power from remembrance. Uh, Dr. Meme, thank you for the thousand bits. Vision, uh, Vision thank you for the uh, Visioning Storm. Thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You just give me a thousand bits to say, whoa, that guy gave you a 10,000 bits. It's like it's a really Twitch is weird, man. Uh, about great runes. Great runes. Great runes are the stuff of demigods. Children of the goddess Queen Marika. 
Stonks. I can't chat without sending bits. Well, the guy gave you 1,000 bits. <laughs> Chicken dog, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Nadam's thank you for the 100 bits. So what does this do? Receive power from remembrance. Oh, check it out. So we can use this and we can... You can make the axe of Godric or the grafted dragon. That gave you bits. Wow. So you can, you, this is how you transpose the soul into a weapon is what you do, the remembrance. So you can make Godric's axe, which is, it seems like it's an Omega strength weapon. And you can also make, I guess the dragon arm and you can like, maybe you could fire, you can shoot flame out of it or something. I don't have enough faith for it. Uh, but really cool. Really, really cool. All right. So this is how you make boss weapons. This is how you kind of make boss weapons, it seems. Uh, thank you guys for all the bits. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, so we've leveled up. Uh, I don't want to use that soul yet. I can't really upgrade any weapons, so I kind of want to go back and keep fighting that boss. I feel bits. like I can beat that boss. Wow, 500 more bits. Royal Remains Helm, Royal Remains Armor. Was this the chick who attacked us? Chick who attacked us? Cool. She cute. What gives me the most magic defense? We're still at medium load. I was curious what gave me the absolute most magic defense since magic is apparently what we're going to get hit by a lot. Seems this. Okay. Uh, that guy, KP, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Doc DK, thank you for the 10 gift subs. You guys are nuts. Thank you so much. Where's the scam train? Uh, I don't know. Don't ask me how scam trains work. Ah, uh, thank you so much, guys. Holy crap. Uh, I hope... He's praying? Uh, get that guy KP, Doc DK, thank you so much. Crunch slam chest. Thank you for the 20 gift subs, crunch slam chest. Wow, thank you guys so much. Hey, check it out, guys. We can open this. All right, we got to open this, right? We got to open this thing. Let's see. Visioning Storm. Thank you for the 50 gift subs. Visioning Storm. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Crunch Slam Chest. Visioning Storm. Thank you so much. Holy crap. My new best friend. Yeah. We open this door. Let's see what's in here, dude. Assassin's Prayer Book? Well, dude, you got 50 gift subs. Ah, dung. Gift sub. Okay, so we got the Assassin's Prayer Book. Give to a learned cleric Thanks to acquire new... Uh, okay, so if we give this to the guy, we'll get something, I guess. We'll get some new miracles. Okay, cool. Maybe slightly disappointing considering I'm not a miracle guy, but yeah, give that to the turtle. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going back to that boss is where we're going. 
Ditch McGee, thank you for the gift sub. Lady Libra, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you, Lady Libra, for the tier two. All right, I'm going back to that boss. Where was it? It was uh, this one. Yep. Let's go back. All right, it's just arrived. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. I still feel like there's stuff we missed somewhere. Like, we missed a lot of stuff in this area, I feel like. Even, I, even if, let's say I kill the boss this attempt, I still feel like there's so much stuff we missed in this area. So we've maxed out our armor protection. Uh, let's see if it makes any difference. Did I beat the moon goddess? I kind of got a little distracted doing some other stuff, but uh, uh, I haven't. I'm, I haven't attempted in a little while. We're gonna try again. Phase one, I can get through very easily, and phase two, something goes wrong every time. Some big Bergenworth, some big Bergenworth vibes. I can see that. Um, this is, it's like Dark Souls where it's very difficult and it's like Skyrim where it's very open and you can do a lot of different things. So it's a little bit like both. Uh, I would say it's more in the direction of Dark Souls than Skyrim, but okay, let's try again. made some of the weapon arts a lot better uh yeah you can also change the weapon arts go sagan and there's a lot of different ones to play with i don't even i haven't even seen many of them When you get hit by like one thing in this fight, that's just it because all the other slow projectile stuff, all the other slow projectile stuff catches up with you when you take one hit. So one hit doesn't mean one hit. One hit means nine hits and then that's just it. This is like, this reminds me of ROM where in ROM and ROM and Bloodborne, if you got hit once by like one of the beams, you could easily get stun locked into a lot of the other beams. A singular strike. Reminds me a lot of that. You need levels, get some health. Uh, yeah, I'm not really going to level up. I'm not really going to go out to try to go get more souls and level up. Uh, Rubedo, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Not really going to do that. Uh, Tito, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Tito. I feel like I can beat this. I just have to learn it. I feel like I can beat it. I just have to learn it. Well, I want to see what happens when you get past this. Like, what happens when you beat her? Does, 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 do I gain something? Does something open up? Like, I want to see it. 
I think I can beat this. Yeah, I think the extra magic defense has helped a little bit. You're not wrong, though, uh, about like, oh, you should go explore. Like, you're not wrong. Um, I think you're absolutely right. That's like, that's like the strat. Like, oh, I'm stuck on something. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go look around. That's I, I think that's the strat. I think you're right. I think you're right. I just don't care. <laughs> Damn it. My special move is a swirly with my mace. I know, it's great, right? She throwing corpses? I think she transforms her like little servants here uh, into those things. There's an attack in Neo that looks exactly like that. The moon. Look at that all that one hit is all I got off what is this <laughs> all right i forgot front page sorry <laughs> whoops Stop throwing moons at me. Who do you think you are, Thanos? Who 
<laughs> what a joke. What a joke, man. Projectiles, they chase you forever! And dogs and giants and dragons, like, get out of here, man! Get out of here. Oh my god! This is ridiculous! Ah! <sighs> uh... I'm going to start over. What's the easiest build you think? Or what should I focus on? Oh, come on, man! I'm like a mile away! I'm in another area code! Come on! Uh, visioning, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Uh, I can't tell you what the easiest build is because I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I literally haven't the foggiest idea. Uh, maybe just going for melee, like kind of like a pure melee build will be easier because you won't have to like figure out a magic system. So maybe if you're like, maybe if you're like intimidated, maybe, maybe melee is the way to go. Man, I had it. I had that fight. Had it. Everything went well. Everything was going fine. I had it. I'm so mad. Gift sub. Ah, uh, McCoffee and Coffee Metal. Thank you for the gift sub to Tezius. Thank you very much. <sighs> you never had it. Thank you, M Coffee. Like some of these projectiles that just like slowly follow you forever are like they're ruthless, man. That one in particular. Dude, it switched. Oh no. Oh no. I think it auto switched. I think I've got auto switch on target. I got to turn that off. I got to turn that off. It auto switched me to the nearest target. I don't. I desperately do not want to auto switch. I got to turn that off immediately. I never even realized I had that on. It auto changed my target to the dog. You think I'm get you think I'm just gonna run at the dragon?
I hate this boss. <laughs> patience, patience. Comanche, thank you for the 15 gift subs. Thank you, Comanche. Patience. They all on the screen. Come, every enemy in the game, apparently. <laughs> you gonna send them all? Bits. Queen. Great rune of Everybody the unborn. Wanted to know what Barb would say if he didn't win. I <laughs> guess we'll never know. Barbez. Ah, uh, Hunt Films. Thank you for the fifth. Wow. Thank you for the fifteen. Jeez. Uh, F that moon. Hunt Films. Thank you for the fifteen thousand bits. Wow. Holy crap, guys. Thank you so much, Comanche Doyle. Thank you for the bits. Ah. Uh, Ark, thank you for the 10. What is going on today? Thank you so much. <laughs> that was a cool boss. It was cool. Those, proje those magic projectiles, man, they are rough. They are rough. Oh, man. Ark, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Vision, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Thank you, Visioning Storm. Hunt Films, thank you for the 15,000 bits. Thank you so much. Holy crap, man. Thank you guys so much. Uh, all right. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. I'm no longer on the front page. I, Shit. Or will he be <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. Uh, thank you so much, Doc DK, for the 1,000 bits. Ark, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. Thou, is it thy wish to be born, to become a sweeting? Rebirth? You can change... <laughs> you can change the way you look if you want. Look at that. You can change anything you want. Okay. It's all cosmetics. And I, I'm assuming that rebirth, perhaps, is uh, respecting your stats. Like respect your stats, I think. Be not. I would birth thee as a sweeting. Okay. So you can. Uh, looks like you can change your character and do all kinds of stuff here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, she she becomes kind of like a Rosaria situation. Okay. What's it? It's locked. Lady, open the chest. I don't believe it. <laughs> I guess, I guess other people got here and it was also locked. Yo, all hail the mighty Lord T-Pose. All hail Lord T-Pose. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Is that, uh, let's see. Auto target off. Yes, there we go. Well, we found, uh, so we, I guess we've like completed this castle area. I still feel like there's so much more to do here though. 
But uh, we completed the castle. We beat the boss here, the big boss. Um, I don't know what we do now. I don't know what we do now. Beats me. How many souls do we have? We have 43,000? Bro, are we supposed to be here? <laughs> That's like a lot of souls, man. Are we supposed to be here? Uh. Okay, all right, hang on. Let me look at my weapons. Let me look at my weapons. Hang on. So the weapons I've been looking to use, this spear is the tree spear. It takes 18 faith. We're, we're pretty close to getting that. Scales with faith. Uh, it looks like it might, it does holy damage. Does critical damage. No, 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 just holy damage. Okay. Golden halberd, we would need strength. This, we would need 24 faith and 16 strength. Uh, clinging bone. What do you guys think? Go for the spear? The the holy spear? What do you think? Wolverine claws? Claws? Well, for the claws, we need... Uh, we need... Uh, what's it called? Uh, we need upgrade materials for the claws. I like the bleed damage, too. I like the bleed damage, too, when it happens. Go for the wing thing. The, the wing scythe. That one requires... That one requires a lot more faith. That one requires a lot of faith. Uh, it takes a lot. Claws kill your distance to attack as well. Respec. I mean, what would we respec here, right? I don't even know what we would. I don't. If we respec, I don't know what we would respec from. Spear into the scythe. Ah, uh, eighteen faith for the spear. All right. We can. I guess we can always respec if we want, right? We can always respec. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get some more faith. And that means we are one faith away from using the spear. One faith away from using the spear. Dragon arm was faith and strength. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where are we going now? Highway north? We could try going back to this, like, starting area and going east. We haven't been around here in a while. It's like where the underground areas are. Can you pop any souls? I don't think I have any. All right, let's go. Uh, we're going to go here. Let's go here. Nope. Let's go here. Nope. There we go. Go here. What's up, Spud? How's it going? This game looks sick. Yeah, this game is really, really fun. Really fun. Yeah, next time we're at the thing. Next time we're at the thing, we'll have to uh, check to see if there's any items. I think I have a lot of souls. I think I used I used all my souls. I've got these two, the remembrance. You can turn those into boss items, though. And uh, I want to wait to see if we find any really good boss items. And if we might want a boss weapon or something. Can I zoom out to show the map? Sure. Here is the map. This is the at least so far. There's all these like foggy areas we haven't seen. Uh, there's this huge area to the east we haven't been. So we're just like slowly kind of figuring out. How many deaths? Uh, I think we've died a lot. I think we've died a lot. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I've played pretty well. I think I've adjusted pretty well. We're learning as we go. It's very different um, from previous Souls games. But I'm having I'm having a fantastic time. I'm having a great time. I think the hardest thing for me to adjust to is that I would describe a lot of Dark Souls. Like Dark Souls bosses kind of have a rhythm of like attack, attack. They, you know, they attack, they attack. There's like a pause and you can get in your attacks between there. It kind of feels like many, if not all of the bosses in this game, like it feels like they never stop attacking. It feels like they are constantly attacking and uh, it feels like, like, when is it my turn to ever attack you? It feels like it's never your turn. You're just constantly waiting to attack and you never get to attack. Bliss. Ah. Hole. <laughs> yes, that is a hole. It's a boat. It's another boat.
Ow. Enemy fell. Oh, hey, remember that guy that said, feed me death root? Where was the guy that, where was that guy? The guy that said, feed me death root. We just got another, we just got some more death root. What a boss. Another Souls game, same old, same old. I don't think you know what you're talking about. I actually think either you don't know what you're talking about or you're trying to bait people. <laughs> One or the other. Either way, either way, you're irrelevant. Uh, thank you again, Chunky Stumps. Appreciate it. Ooh, what do we got? What is this? Dragonfly head. Yeah. Smithing stone. Okay. Could you recommend the game to a starter in the genre? Uh, I'd say yes, but you are going to get fucked up. You're definitely going to get fucked up. Even, even like a veteran, like let's say you've played reasonably. You've played all the games before you beat them all. Like, I still feel like you're going to get fucked up. You're going to get fucked up, but that's okay. That's part of the experience. Also, uh, what's going on in here? Also, I would say that when you finally, if you do beat this game and you start to get good at it, you'll yearn for the time where you, this game like fucked you up. Like you'll miss it. Like, man, I, I missed when I was new at this game and it was kicking my ass. You're almost nowhere in your first 60, 90 minutes. Uh, I'm ready to restart again. I'll restart. Focus a weapon. Keep exploring. Keep looking around. And read the stuff. Make sure you're upgrading your flasks. This, uh, this little face here. From this angle, doesn't it kind of look like Donald Trump? It's a little bit. It's the best. I got the best bowl on my head. It's the best bowl. Believe me, folks. It's the best bowl I've ever seen. A lot of people saying it's hot. I don't think it's hot at all. My head can take it. I've got the toughest head you've ever seen. <laughs> Not a toupee. It's the best rock. I have the, the best flail. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> Big if true. It's a low energy guy you got here. First five hours, you had no clue what to do or how to beat the asshole boss. Oh, yeah, dude. I got so lost. I went, I was like, where the hell am I going? <laughs> that was sick. Uh, okay, well, we got a uh, big chungus and he's guarding something. Now, what if I run past big chungus and go right into the thing he's guarding? You ever beat that first tough guy with the knives? I've killed every boss I've run into so far. I've killed everything. Yeah, I'm through. I killed the deer last night. Killed the deer last night. Hmm. You ever go back to the fog gate in the Crimson Swamp? No, but I've been spending... I've been spending my keys, like, everywhere. Did what you kill the mind the goblin? Horse What's the mind goblin? When you first spawn in the world. The holy horse dude. I, I killed a couple of horse bosses. So now we're in the underground area. This is a new underground tunnel. This is like a new tunnel. Hey, what?
wait a minute. Ah. Uh, you know, FromSoft knows how to make stuff terrifying. You don't make monsters and zombies. You just take like normal things and make them way bigger. Like snakes, fish, ants. That's how you make terrifying stuff. <laughs> that is how you make terrifying stuff. All you got to do. Message. Behind. Magic grease. Okay. Seems like can't go into this waterfall. Looks like I can't. I also can't summon my horse here. Okay. Wolves with bigger heads. Uh, no, I didn't. I don't even know where that was. This idea was available. I don't know where that was. Also, the lock, the key lock things. It looks like we're going in here. The key lock things are pretty rare and precious. So I, I've been using those, trying to use those judiciously. when I became Ant-Man. Are we just in like, we're just in like a straight up ant hill, like a straight up ant colony right now, aren't we? I feel like playing this game is kind of surreal. Like, I feel like I'm watching myself play the game. Playing this game has been pretty surreal. It's just, it's just so, it's like, Elden Ring to me is like otherworldly, otherworldly good is how I would describe this game. It's like truly otherworldly. I don't know any other word to describe it. Where does this go? Is this gonna go up or down? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we found this first. That's called delirium. From yeah, maybe maybe it's delirium. Very possible. How many souls do I have? Not enough. Where does this go? Ah, lever. Further down. Do you have a talent tree or something? Uh, well, you level up your stats and depend your your move set is dependent on whether you go into magic or whether you're trying Ool palace ruins. Whoa, that's a lot of guys. It depends on what you're trying to spec Like if you're going for magic, you're gonna have like you have to learn your sorceries and stuff if you're going for weapons you can uh... Oh boy, <laughs> that's a lot of guys. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. I started off, what the hell is that shit? I started off with the worst class in the game, like the weakest class. Um, and... <laughs> fucking Donkey Kong Country? What is this? Now I know how fucking Kremlings feel. Okay, there's just so many enemies. I'm not going to fight them. Uh... What in the fuck is that?
Oh, we found out there's a vendor down here. What's up, dude? Oh, we found a map too? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I, I can't look at it because I'm in combat apparently. What's up, bro? Is someone there? A customer? Well. What do you got? Gravity Stone, Prisoner, Iron Mask, Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook, uh, Lost Ashes of War, Devoid of Memories, unable to apply any kind of affinity to the current state, but can be used by smithing uh, to recreate other ashes. So this is something for up. This is a Shard of Rock use, uh, uses FP. I don't think he really has anything. Cool mask. <laughs> All right. I thought maybe he would have something cool. Rolling ahead. He did not have anything cool. New map has been added. Okay. So it looks like there's a path this way. Stop hitting me with shit. Uh, yeah, we are going to put up the entirety of this playthrough on YouTube for sure. It's going to be mostly unedited. Oh, uh, I thought we were going this way. Mostly unedited. Um, maybe we'll have a few edits of like drop. If, like, if we have a bad drop frame or something. Seems like today everything's been mostly fine. Okay, looks like there's... Uh, okay, we can get up over here. Jumping ahead. Thank you. So helpful. Oh, did we already find this? Oh, I guess we didn't. The Lost Grace. Okay. Uh, just starting to get killed by the first boss. That's how it goes, man. Welcome, welcome to Elden Ring. <laughs> Sorry, ants. Ormic Rock. Immunizing Horn Charm. We found a new charm. Uh, where is it? Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Raises holy attack. Let's put on the reduces damage. What was it? Uh, raises immunity. So maybe that makes you... Uh, did I turn off the auto switch targets? I did, yeah. Raises immunity. So maybe that makes you less likely to be poisoned or something. Lover ahead. Be wary of beating to a pulp. Death ahead. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh see, I, I kind of, like, see, the thing is, I kind of don't want these messages, though. I kind of don't want that. I kind of want to wander into the death. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta turn off online mode. I, I think I'd have to reset the game. Okay, so we're in this narrow tunnel. All right, let's go back towards the death. I need to exit and come back in. I think I do, yeah. What is this, a map? Yeah, this game has a map. This is, so we're in this massive underground area. And there's also, this is the above ground area. This world is, it's tremendous. And it's bigger than you think too because of all the intricate areas within the castles. And uh, the tunnels and caves and shit. What are you guys? 
You are no. <laughs> Boy, they really weren't shy about kind of, I don't want to say stealing from themselves. They weren't shy about being inspired by themselves, were they? They weren't even remotely shy about it. Callbacks. So, like, we've seen, I, we've seen callbacks. So, these are the cursed frogs from Dark Souls. We've seen callbacks to Capra Demon, callbacks to Asylum Demon. Uh, what were some other, like, big time callbacks we've had? I can't help myself. Dark Souls 3 crab, rats, dogs. Yep, definitely. Soap. We found soap. Finally, I can clean. Chaos. Well, guys, I think this is death. I'm, I'm like 95% sure this is death if I jump down. It seems like there's nowhere to go. Yeah, that, I think that's death. No, I think that's death. It's fine. I that looks that looks like death. It smells like death. Looks like death. It's probably death. Put on the ring. We tried that already. Doesn't work. <laughs> tried that. Didn't work so good. <laughs> the ring. No, I, I we tried that already. Afraid not. In seriousness, they might be telling me I can get there later. Ambush. Didn't expect good luck. I love the, the atmospheric music in the caves. Holy shit. This game feels... When I'm playing this game, it feels like I'm wandering from one, like, insanely cool fantasy painting to another. Like, constantly. Like, from one, like, holy shit cool fantasy painting right to another. Like, that's honestly what it feels like. Uh, am I playing with a mouse and keyboard? I am playing with a controller. Controller. That's kind of what the whole thing feels like. Uh, I really have to pee. I really have to pee. I was holding it the entire time when I was on the front page. I'll be back in just one second, guys. Be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. Dude, I, I'm playing Elden Ring. I do not have time to wash my hands. There is simply no time. There is no time to wash my hands. <laughs> You guys aren't real gamers, you wouldn't understand. Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. even was that? I don't even know what I'm getting. I don't even know what I'm getting hit by. It's just like things. 
Like I'm 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 face to face with his dick. Face to face with his dick. And I'm just like ex explosions happen and I have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. Are the boss names really weird to anyone? They aren't memorable at all. Uh I can't say I remember like any of the names. <laughs> I can't say I remember like any of them. Okay. The du yeah, there's the dung eater. That one I do remember. Oh, did I lose the music? It's my boss music. I lost my boss music. I'm sad. He's gonna pull. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Uh, that means I'm going to die. To, yep. That means I'm going to die to an explosion. That's exactly what that means. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God! Okay, hopefully we get the boss music back. I want the boss. I'm not that upset because I want the boss music back. Cast reflect. Did he just hump me? This dude is strong. He wasn't so bad and then the lightning started and then he got, he got real bad. <laughs> hopefully we get the boss music back. You only played Sekiro. This boss reminds me of Demon of Hatred. Cold Fusion. We're in Hades now. What does frostbite do? In Dark Souls, frostbite makes it so that you uh, you don't get your stamina back very fast. Yeah, I feel like the music glitched out. The music only played the first time. It hasn't played since then. Yeah, if I die again, we might try quitting out and, uh, oh, okay. We'll try quitting out and reloading and maybe that'll fix the boss music. We'll try that. I can turn off all, I can go offline. Or do I have to restart? Oh, I have to restart. Okay. Well, hopefully the music works. Hopefully the music works. That's annoying that you have to, 
It's annoying that you have to re-enter and leave the game and do all that shit. Isn't that fucking annoying? Like, just let me sign offline while I'm in the game. That's so annoying. Yeah, I think the music here is uh, permanently busted for whatever reason. God damn it. <sighs> Can't heal. How dare I heal? How dare I? Where do I get off trying to ever heal? Where do I fucking get off? Where do I get off thinking I can ever heal? Who do I think I am? Healing. Oh my god. Get out of here, man. I feel like this boss, I kind of don't like it because I feel like this is my view of the boss the entire time. And I guess like I could back up and try to stay, but then I'm like, I feel like I'm vulnerable. I'm more vulnerable to all of his attacks. I don't know. I feel like my view of this boss is constantly just his dick. Yeah, his open hole. I feel like I can never see what this boss is actually doing. Uh, thank you very much, Erethos. I really appreciate the tier three. <sighs> yeah, this game, man, this game hates you when you heal. It really does. It feels, sometimes it just feels straight up impossible to actually heal. It's like, you just can't do it. Boy, I really, really do not like the fucking camera in this fight. I do not like the camera in this fight. I really don't. I got stuck on something I couldn't see. Like I never, I never know what this boss is even doing. I'm just like guessing. I'm just guessing at all times with this boss. I feel like I'm guessing what it's happening because my view of this boss is like always obstructed. I don't know. I feel like I don't really like it's a visually it's a cool boss, but I feel like this one is probably my le one of my least favorite I've had to fight against so far.
Like, I feel like uh, the, the, the deer was better because the deer, I could see what was happening a lot and it, my vision wasn't obstructed, you know? Yeah, well, the music was great, but that, that's just a glitch. The music was great initially. It's just really hard to see what this boss is doing. Well, I had 11,000 souls. I have no idea where they are. Maybe this feels like uh, you never want to target kind of boss. You can, like never target this boss. Okay, I was actually curious. I wanted to see if I could use my horse. Nice bleed damage there. Like, I, what is happening, dude? Bro, I don't even know what you're doing. You're not letting me see. I, what is, dude, this is stupid. This is stupid. I can't see shit. This is stupid. Okay, I don't like this boss. This boss, I feel like, sucks. I don't like this one. Why did that do so much? Uh, it's because I built up the bleed on him. I don't like this one. I'm sure you can learn it. I'm sure you get better at it. But I just feel like this boss is always on top of you. And you can never see the attacks. I don't like this one. This one isn't fun to fight against. Yeah, the can't. This is a boss where the boss is the camera, not the boss. And he's just gonna do these giant AOE attacks that I can't even see where they are, or what's happening, and I'm gonna die to that. Yeah, it's. A, I mean, it's. It doesn't seem like it's that difficult. It seems like I'm just dying to dumb shit. So. And of course, like every Elden Ring boss, he never stops attacking or gives you a chance to heal. Every time you attack, you get punished. Literally, I can't do anything without getting punished. 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 <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing how I can't literally do anything. Every fucking thing I do, I can't do that. What can I do? What can I do? Tell me what can do. Roll. All can do is roll. Apparently, this is what you want. All I can do is roll, huh? No attacking. No, no anything. No healing. All you can do is roll. Fantastic. Another wonderful boss. That all the only thing you can do is fucking roll. Is the only thing you can do to survive. What a fucking piece of shit you are. What a fucking piece of shit. I wish the bosses got punished half as much as I did when they fucking miss an attack. I fucking, I, I can't fucking do anything. I literally can't do anything ever. Can't attack, can't roll, can't heal. Like it's, un it's unreal. It's honestly unreal. It's like you bring over all the weaknesses of Dark Souls. Like your attacks are uninterruptible and you are slow and the bosses brought over none of them. Like they are insanely fast. They never have to do, like, it's just crazy. It's crazy. The scales, 
they've tipped the scales so far in favor of the bosses. Like, it's ridiculous. It's such a wildly different experience from bosses that, like, can't target you, like in Dark Souls 1. It's, it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. Me molding over Souls content. I, I think I've, I'm having a hard time adjusting to the fact that the bosses in this game are so different from other Souls game bosses in the, in the sense that I feel like none of them have any weaknesses. They all have a ton of health, a ton of poise. They have all resistances. They never stop attacking. You can't heal. If you attack even once, once at a wrong time, you're fucked. Like, it just feels, it feels very, very different. Like, even the hardest Dark Souls bosses, like Manus, uh, Slave Knight, uh, you know, like, the hardest bosses in, in all of the series, they provide you opportunities to hit them, and, like, there's, like, a very much a, the your turn, my turn. There is no your turn, my turn in Elden Ring. It's, ne it's never your turn. There's no turns. It's just constant, and any, any one thing you do is gonna result in you getting hit. Like, how, how can I fight this guy here? Where I can actually see. How can I fight this guy? I can't. I can't even hit him from here. I have to have my face in his crotch. That's the only place for me to be. The only place for me to actually fight this guy is in his crotch. Because I can't hit him anywhere else. The flail is shit. I mean, this is, the only, this is really the only viable option for a weapon I have right now. Okay, I thought I could jump over that. Apparently not. Like, I was... Do you see how far away I was? And I was like, let me heal. Punished. <laughs> so far away. What did I even get hit by? Oh my god, dude. I fucking hate this thing. I really, really hate this thing. I hate this thing a lot. I'm trapped. I'm trapped inside of him. I can't get out. There's no way for me to avoid the explosion there. Man. Yeah, I, I really, really don't like this boss. This this one, I don't care for. This one feels really obnoxious to me. Like, what, what is my screen? What is my screen? Every single attack is like a goddamn AOE. They're all just explosions. Oh, God. Sometimes on a boss, I'm like addicted. I'm like, oh my God, I really want to beat this boss. This boss, I just want to be done with this one. I do not like this one. Uh, I think we're dead this attempt. use the pillars as cover his lightning goes through it seems like the pillars don't do anything here i don't know dude i don't know i really don't know you yeah i i don't even know why they why i don't even know why you have a dodge because you dodge an attack and then there's an immediate follow-up that you can't even see because it's behind you somewhere and you didn't know it was coming i don't have enough uh i don't have enough faith to use the spear anyway so 
Oh man, this one's tedious. This one is tedious. Is there better armor? Uh, I don't think the armor is going to help us, dude. You're trying to negotiate. The thing I could do is leave and level up and, and you know, do something like that. You're trying to negotiate and... I love how I'm stuck on a... Come on! Holy shit, I hate this thing! Holy fuck! It's the worst goddamn thing in the game so far! Holy fucking shit, I hate this thing so much! I've never hated anything so much! Holy fuck! I hate you! Holy shit, I hate you! I really fucking hate you! <laughs> I hate you so much! Holy fucking shit, I hate this thing! I hate the camera! I hate his attacks! I hate his second phase! I hate the lack of music. I hate everything about this stupid fight. Oh my God. It's miserable. How am I supposed to see that the explosion is coming when I have to have my face against this thigh? How am I supposed to see? Gonna explode. I <laughs> like at this point, I'm so screwed. I actually, I legitimately have no idea how I'm supposed to fight this. I have no idea. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. You gonna stop? Dude, it's the worst! You're the fucking worst! You're the worst! Oh my god, you're the worst! I can't even fucking hit you! You're the size of a fucking building and I can't hit you! Because of your shit hitbox. Oh my fucking lord, save me! Oh, <laughs> uh, I will be. You know, in the past, I fought a Souls boss, it was nothing personal. When this boss dies, that will put a smile on my face. That will put a smile on my face. Because holy shit, this is by far the thing I hate the most in this game. I hate this. I got my ass kicked by Mergit or Mer Mergit or whatever it is, but I didn't hate him because it's like, man, he's. I felt. I felt like there was something to learn and it, it felt fair this doesn't feel that way this feels like garbage this feels like garbage the moon boss well the moon boss felt fair it felt like i could learn something and get better and do it this just feels like like deal with this trash and, until you win <laughs> I, I really hate this guy Bro, fuck this. 
Fuck this. I profoundly hate this. Really fucking hate this. It's possible you miss some information. Sucks. I don't think there's information. I think I could go somewhere. I could come. Maybe I'm here too low level and too weak, and that would probably make a difference. But I'm I'm gonna do this now because this thing irritated me. I'm not summoning for bosses because I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, Trinagoth, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, Trinagoth. This thing made me mad, and now I'm going to kill it. <laughs> Yeah, it pissed me off. Now it dies. I think I lost 12,000 souls there, too. It's so easy to get trapped inside of him. Great. Yep. Totally. Fair. Very fair. I love dying to attacks. There's no way I could ever know the timing of. <sighs> Fuck off and die. Fuck off and die, you piece of shit. Fuck off. Fuck. Fuck off and die. Oh my god. Get! I am. I. This is outrageous. This boss is a fucking outrage. Oh, you healed. Time to die. Never heal. So fucking mad at this thing. I was running away as fast as I could. I was running as fast as I could. I couldn't get out of the range of the explosion. What? There's no way! There's no way, man. Ah! Uh, ah! You are the fucking worst. You are the worst. God, I hated that guy. 12,000. God, I fucking hated that guy. Holy shit, that thing was miserable. <laughs> I did not. I, you know, I did not care for that boss. Subbing didn't like it. I don't know if you guys were aware. I didn't care for that boss very much. In case you weren't aware. Uh, Clown Creeps, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Clown Creeps. Pinky Stink, thank you for the Prime Gaming Conversion. Monkey Phonics, thank you very much. God damn it, man. Thought you loved him? Fucking. 
Great Ghost Glovewort. You act like I know what that is. I don't know what that is. Strengthen Renowned Ashes. So wait, these ashes... That strengthens our, like, infusion on a weapon. So we have to also level up our weapon and, like, our infusion? You gotta do both? Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know where we're going now. Fuck. Titanite Slab? But the guy sitting there was a boss too. <laughs> Jumps down for phase two. Fucking fuck that thing, dude. Fuck that thing. Try rump. Uh, so we're looking at the map. So we want to go back through this tunnel. Uh, I am. I've killed every boss we've run into so far. I hated that boss. That was probably the first one that like actually made me mad. Like every other boss, like Mergit, Mergit, I felt like I was like, okay, this is my fault. I need to get better. Like I can learn this. This boss was just like, it was just trash after trash after trash. <laughs> Okay, molding over. I'm all out of mauled. Uh, I guess I could have warped here. Okay, we're trying to find where to go next. Oh, nowhere near as bad as Bed of Chaos. Bed of Chaos is fucking stupid. Not that bad. Hmm. I'm not sure what bosses I would compare it to. It's like a little bit of mid-ear, a little bit of uh, like Vort mid-ear, and uh, what's the electric dog from Bloodborne? Except way bigger and and way more damage from those boss than those bosses did. Mid-ear has par yeah parl parl. Midir also, while Midir seems like really tough on your first playthrough, and I, when I first fought Midir, I had a hard time with him. Like, absolutely had a hard time with Midir. Midir has these insanely like telegraphed breaks where he's like, attack, 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 stop. And then he literally like bows his head and lets you beat him in his head and uh, get massive damage that way, right? The, this boss didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this boss is just bullshit, 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 bullshit. Um, all right, I'm I'm done molding. It looks like there's a way to get over there, but I'm not seeing it. Looks like there's a way to get over there. I'm not seeing how to get over there. Is there like a path or something? See, I can't jump up there. What even is that thing? Is there somewhere to go up there? Okay, yep. Nothing staggers you, got it. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh, item. Go grab that. I'm done molding. I'm done molding. I'm done. It's over. I killed him. I win. He's dead. He can rot in hell. Okay, so we got a pillar. It looks like you walk over there on this pillar. So it looks like you can get up there somehow. Shit. Okay. 
What's tossing these rocks? Uh, I started off as the wretch. I chose wretch. Stop throwing rocks at me. Am I the only person ever that chose wretch? Am I the only person that chose that? Like nobody else chose that. <laughs> it looks like there's like a way up here somehow. Oh, Pooh chose wretch. That's funny. Great minds think alike, I guess. Over here, maybe? Oh, hang on. Is this how you want me to go up? No. Man, there's got to be a way up, right? Like, look at the path. There's like a little path over there. <laughs> I don't think I feel like I'm playing Mario. I don't think that's it. Man, how do you get up here? And they're running out of heels too. Use the elevator. Elden Mario. So that means that this is the side we have to get up somehow. We have to get here and then go all the way to the right. But... Are you still fucking shooting shit at me? Is it like around here somewhere and then you go on the other side? I don't think so, right? Oh, maybe? Oh, oh, okay, okay. What if this company just got updated and coming until 3-8? There we go. So I was looking for a, a way that just straight up didn't exist. <laughs> How's the game going so far? Dude, this game is fucking incredible. It's so good. Sounds like me. I beat it. I killed the boss. I'm gonna wait another wave. Every game is exactly the same. The hell does that mean? I 
I have no healing. And I have a distinct feeling this thing is going to be a fucking giant asshole. Aha! Here. Okay, uh, I'd love to kill you, but I kind of want to see... Try poison visions of suffering. Bonk. 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 Well, fuck you forever, I guess. <laughs> Time for jumping. Is there a point in doing that? We went in here. This room seems kind of uh, pointless. There's like, wow, you can go up there on the cavern walls too. How do you get, you see that? You see that item? <laughs> Fuck, man. How do you get there? Uh, is my main weapon a mace? Uh, it's a, it's a foil. Um, I'm, this is my main weapon for now. Um, I don't think, I'd, I don't think I'm going to be using this permanently. I have no idea how you get up there. No fucking idea. Uh, do you say anything? Well, divorce from... No, nope, nothing new here. Well, there's a gigantic path up there, and it seems like I did not see a way to get up there. Uh, possibly, maybe we missed it or something. I'm pretty sure the big guy is not going to respawn. I think he's gone. What's my favorite aspect of this game? The exploration. The exploration is insanely rewarding. Um, you find all different like super crazy areas uh oh hang on was that all the faith we needed see we can alter alter garments what does that even mean does that mean you can change what something looks like or something or other i don't, I don't know looks like die oh that's probably it okay we can wield the tree spear now we can wield this. Also, we're fat rolling. What is the weapon art? <laughs> cool. Okay, let's come back here. Let's go here real quick. I think we're going to have to change my armor and stuff. So, let's see. Maybe some lighter. We want to go. Oh, are we at medium load? Oh, we are. We're already at medium load. Okay, let's see if we can. Um, let's see if we can upgrade the spear, which was over here. So this one. Okay, the tree spear requires regular smithing stones. It seems. I thought the tree spear was maybe going to be, uh, like maybe it was going to require something different. Can we upgrade the flail anymore? Oh, wow, dude. Holy crap. So we actually could upgrade the flail to plus seven. We have the smithing stones. Interesting. Looks like a blacksmith from demon souls. Oh, definitely. Uh, I mean, what do you think? Try this spear out for a while. Just keep going with the flail.
Can we upgrade the flail too? Okay, I, I can't because I don't have enough. Hang on one second. I think I can also upgrade the flail. Just gotta use these. Spear is too slow. Spear at plus two does more damage than the flail. Uh, let's see. We'll, uh, we'll keep upgrading the flail too. So the flail is now at plus eight. Plus eight flail. We need one more smithing stone for the spear. Okay. No claws. I listen, man. I got to choose something at some point. I got to choose something. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I can't do everything all the time. Unfortunately, I got to choose. Uh, so we did that. Let's go here. Let's go here. Do it all. I think overall ranged melee is the best way to go. We'll see how the spear does. We'll try it out. Do more simultaneously. Okay, so the top, the spammy guy should be dead. He dead? Yeah, he is gone permanently. A spear seems pretty slow. It does seem slow. And it seems like the damage on it kind of sucks for now. So we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to wait unless I want to die a lot. So we really need to find a, if I'm going to keep doing this with weapons, we need to find a reliable source of the stuff. We got to find a, a reliable source. I honestly think the, the, the claws might be really good. I honestly find the, I, I think the claws might be super good. So this elevator goes up. Can I get off the elevator or something? Or do I just want to ride it all the way up? I don't have enough. I don't have enough faith. I think I need 24 faith for the thing. I think that's what it was. Oh, I didn't go straight. I didn't go this way. All right, let's go this way. Gotta go for a while. Have a good stream. Yo, thanks, Dineth. Oh, no, I did go this way. Never mind. Something incredible ahead. Where are we on the map? I'm planning to go late today again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to be streaming a lot today. It's probably going to be a real late one. So there's definitely a way over there. We just don't know where, right? Like, look at that. Look at that fucking path. See that shit? Jump fucking where, idiot? Jump. Where? Where would you fucking jump? Everybody says you need to wear compression socks for these long ass streams. Never get your YouTube video, please. Yeah, YouTube's gonna suffer for a little while. Because <laughs> I'm like, YouTube is like just gonna actively suffer while I'm just doing nothing but Twitch streaming. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Invisible walkway. Well, my, I have, I actually have a fuckload of YouTube videos on deck that are like ready to go. I just literally, I can't even spare a minute to go upload them and publish them because I'm busy. I just can't do it. 
This is taking me back to the ant room. This is here. Oh, did we go here? Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> uh oh. I got a golden rune. Celestial Dew. So we figured out what this side path was, and it just takes you here. We didn't figure out what to do in the next room, though. So what is Celestial Dew? Carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. I don't know what, like, any of these items do, dude. <laughs> I don't know what, like, any of these items do. We get some Mountain Dew. So we still, it's very possible that we just have no idea how to get up top there. Like we just have absolutely no idea. Let me go this way and let's take another look. Sponsoring Mountain Dew sounds delicious. Dude, code red. I haven't had Mountain Dew in a long time. A very long time. I should have had some Code Red Mountain Dew when I was playing Gears of War. <laughs> You're drinking it right now. I like uh, Sprite. I do like Sprite 7-Up and Ginger Ale. I do like those. So if there was a way up, I think it would like have to be, if it's not here, it's nowhere. It's like, if it's not here, it's nowhere. And that path goes from somewhere else, right? Because we've been everywhere around here. However you get up top this gigantic cavern wall, right? Maybe it could be a hidden wall. Yeah, I, I kind of doubt it. Um... We're playing online. We would probably get a ton of things if it was. So we know that there's a path up there. We just have no idea how to reach it. And this kind of locks you here. Victory. See, like, did you see that? There's an item up there you can grab. There's a. Is that a. Is that a T-posing enemy? <laughs> hey, quit fucking T-posing. Quit showing off, asshole. Guy's showing off. Try bow, try poison, visions of suffering. Seems like people had a tough time with this this bug enemy. I kind of whooped his ass. Okay, I, I think we have to, uh, I think it's just not here. However, however you reach up there, who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna go here. Let's go here. The T is the strongest shape. I thought the triangle was the strongest shape. A game where Barbarous King's character doesn't look like ass. <laughs> I 
Are you going to use the claw this run? Uh, does this look like the face of mercy? Here we go this. Uh, okay. Whoa. Oh, I thought there was a path here. So this is where we fought the fucking horrible dragon boss. If you look at the map, it looks like this area, like, see this path right here? I don't know. It kind of looks like this area connects with something, but I have no idea what. It'd be, it's kind of weird that this area is just like a dead end, right? <laughs> Our streamer. Renders the wearer immune to fall damage. I feel like it's just really weird that this is a dead end. Because it look if you look at the map, it just feels like there's somewhere else to go here. But I guess there's not. I guess there's not. It's odd. Get the pay get the parachute, yeah. Hidden wall. <laughs> okay, I think it's not this way. I think we can safely can safely rule. We can rule this one out. We can rule it out. What was in the chest? It was like a dew. Was it the celestial dew or some dew? Something like that. Maybe we can we go back here? Let's go back there and go right. Trying to spoil this game, so I have you muted on the background to starting bread. Hope you're enjoying the game and living your best life. Well, thank you, Space Ghost. I am I am enjoying the game and I'm hopefully living my best life. So we this is where we came in at, and there was no way to the right. This is where we came in at, and there's no way this way it blocks you off. There's no way that way. We remember that. Let's go here. Yeah, I opened the chest underneath the statue. I did that already. We're going to make a left here. No, see, we've been here too, dude. I don't I don't know where else there is to go. It feels like there's another path here, but I honestly don't know where to find it. Like, I super don't know where to find it. Was this the direction of the big ants? Like, the super big ants? This is like the ant queen. Or was this like the curse frogs? Friend to hand, be wary of left. Okay, these are the curse frogs. We already dealt with this. Yeah, so we got here and this is... 
Well, we're just having a great, we're just having a great time, aren't we? We're just having a great time today, jumping off of everything. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go back in here. So today has been a day of me killing a couple of bosses and me jumping into every fucking pit in the game and dying, I guess. Good day. Brute force all the pits. You think I want to allow you to go to the next area by falling? So this is just taking me so okay so this just takes me here to the boss this is the boss and we already fought this so i think we dead ended i think there's no way for unless there's a path we haven't seen we've dead ended at this point right and there's nowhere for there's nowhere else for us to go i guess we just get out of here i guess we just leave Church of Vows. Okay, I guess we just leave. I don't know what else to do there. I looked everywhere for more paths. What about the waterfall and the rock? I went to the... I Dude, I went everywhere. I went to all the waterfalls. I checked it all. Greetings. Oh, hang on. Give the Assassin's Prayer Book. Show the Celestial Dew. Like to share my concerning the miracle of this church of vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew. So that's what we just picked up. His territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The order of the Erdri and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond. However, oh, so the, okay, so what that do does is if I piss off a character, I can use the do and make them all forgive everything, I guess. I think that's what that does. There is an, an area of darkness that conceals the caster, silences footsteps. So these are the different spells we got. Those are the assassins ones. Okay. So that's what that does. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, well, let's continue heading uh, north, I guess. Yeah, like a covenant forgiveness kind of thing. How does the turtle put on his hat? How dare you ask that? <laughs> How dare you? Turtle Pope, holy shit, game of the century. Okay. What's the story? Why is everything ruins in this game? I assume because the Elden Ring was shattered and the Elden Ring was the thing like that was keeping the world together. Making it all work. Old Palace Ruins. Didn't we fight uh, ghosts of the owl? Didn't we fight ghosts of these guys? Yeah, we did. We fought ghosts of these guys like a long time ago. They're like spirits or something. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Oh, got my ass kicked again. Man. Every time you get hit by these arrows, you uh, think of Ace Ventura. Oh, uh, apparently there was a stake nearby. Oh, boy. Love the giant arrow in your head. I think he likes you. Uh, okay. So there's like a thing here for old palace ruins. That was a weird shot. Go, 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 go. Hey. Whew. Boombox, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, Fant, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Mr. Sub Fant. Uh, thank you, Boombox. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's one of these things again. Uh... Yeah, so much shit like Shadows of the Colossus, right? A little bit. Maybe we should uh, go inside. What the fuck? I didn't think these things were like enemies. We go in. Oh, you're hitting it. I didn't think they were like enemies. I thought we were like, I thought they were like either neutral or we were helping it, honestly. <laughs> okay. I hate it when I get skull barnacles on my feet. Examine remains. Uh, I don't have anything. I don't understand the point of this. I don't understand what this is supposed to be. Something to do with the memories from bosses. Something to do with that, but I can't say I really understand. Have had any performance issues? Uh, the game has run uh, pretty good. It's had a couple of frame drops here or there, like a little choppy here and there. Been pretty good most of the time. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't figured it out yet. I am stuck on this tree. Kind of feels like there's nothing else here, right? Like, what else am I doing here? Can I go up more? Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, maybe keep going further east and see what we find. Keep going east. Seems like there's nothing here. Uh, I'm playing on PC. Very possible I just straight up missed something. Hmm? 
Barb's brute force, no need to sneak. Uh, I mean, I'm, it's much easier to, it's much faster and more efficient to just run past these guys on a horse than it is to sneak past them slowly. Also, when you sneak past them, they can, like, still see you. I'll just run my happy ass right past them. Thank you. What's the last thing I've done? Uh, we went through this gigantic underground area, and I got stuck for a little while. Uh, first of all, there was a boss that really pissed me off. We killed it. And then we were trying to look for, like, it seemed like there was a bunch more paths and shit down there, but we were looking for it, and uh, I couldn't find any way to go forward anymore. Like, uh, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find shit. Oh, boy. Uh, Bibu, thank you for buying a hat. Wow. There we go. Got him. Was he guarding something? What do we got? Bellum Highway. I'd buy a bar beanie. Black knife catacombs. The beast eye quivers. Beanie Barbies. How many uh, souls do we have? None. Okay. <laughs> oh, that guy respawned too. Oh, fucking shit, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh my god, they're literally Dark Souls 3. Uh, Smalls, thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you very much. I still got Souls game, so great to see actual progression in this game. <laughs> Thanks, man. That skeleton followed me all the way here. Turn back. Oh, boy. Out of your crab. Another crab. <sighs> Oops. He put the wrong button.
So I can't open this gate, but there's obviously a way through. So then we must have missed something, right? <sighs> Research ahead. I don't know what we missed. Must have missed something. Okay. The imp gate. Do we have enough uh, keys? Do we have enough keys? No, I, I think I used all my keys, actually. I think I used them all. Oh, no, I have two. I mean, should we use them? I don't know. I always feel like uh, I always feel like I shouldn't. Should we use them? You saw another way? No, you didn't. It looks like there's nothing in here, doesn't it? If you look at it, it looks like there's literally nothing in there. They are, the keys are BFG ammo. They kind of are. I say yes. All right, let's do it. Yep, use it. Go ahead. We can always, I'm sure there's plenty. Oh, it was only, oh, it only took one. Okay. We got an axe from that. Whoa, look at this axe, dude. <laughs> That's so cool. Neat. I like it. Okay, so I don't know where to go in here. I don't know if I missed a path or what. Uh, Smalls, thank you, man, for the seven months. Uh, I have had a fantastic time with this game, and I would highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. Yeah, there were some keys for sale. There is very obviously a way to go here. Like, very, very obviously. I just don't know where. Secret path. A uh, hallway I missed. Not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. Can you ride the guillotine up? I don't think so, dude. Uh, I'm using a flail. I'm not necessarily perfectly happy with my weapon. It's okay. It's pretty good, I think. The bleed buildup has been pretty nice on some bosses, but. Yeah, man, fake wall, path somewhere. I'm just not seeing where to go. Hmm. Yeah, we, in the entire game so far, we've only found one hidden wall. Only one. Between the falling things. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, the projectiles are so bad in this game. Like, they are so nasty. Can you ride the blade upward? Uh, I'll try it. I'll try it. You guys are saying you saw a ladder. I'm not seeing shit. Man, I don't see where to go. I don't see it. I'll try it. You fucking can? 
Bro, leave me alone for five seconds. Holy shit, man. Fuck you. My God. Why don't skeletons stop spawning in this game? They just keep coming right back. Holy fuck. I just want to ride the fucking thing up. Oh my god. Do you gotta kill them when they're down? You gotta kill them when they're down, otherwise they'll keep respawning. That's what it is. Dude, I've been losing my mind versus skeletons. Oh, why did that one work? What? what I, bro, what is going on? What is going on here? Holy shit, man. Bro, I'm really glad I opened this fucking door for a weapon I don't want. I don't get it. I don't get it. No, we've already killed the guy with the staff. I don't get it. I don't understand. Who even knows? I have no idea, dude. So this one's just going to revive a lot. Bro. Bro, the guy is... Don't tell me kill the guy. I killed the guy. What do you mean kill the guy? I fucking killed the guy. What necromancer? Is there another one in this fucking tunnel somewhere? There's not. There's not. That's the only one. All right, I, I need chat to shut the fuck up. It's time. It's time for you to shut the fuck up, guys. Now is the time for you to shut the fuck up. Okay. Wow. What a fucking shit fest this was holy shit so let's just kill the necromancer it's not i thought i thought it was something else oh my god oh my god i'm gonna lose my fucking mind leave me alone for five seconds leave me alone look at me look at what you did to me Go away! Please! God damn it, man! Leave me the fuck alone! There's a secret wall. Holy fuck, man! Oh, we ever made our games too annoying? Nah! Nah, fuck them! Nah, let's make it worse! Holy fucking shit. Oh, and now, oh, now you want the boss, huh? 
Uh. Oh, it took all of my healing to get here. What? All right, what's down here? Oh my god. Oh look, another skeleton. Yeah, I mean, I. Psh. Welcome to Souls games, man. They kind of you kind of fucking lose your mind in them. Oh God. Hey you. Oh, you brought me food. Ah, oh, you're sweet. Thank you. Okay, so we opened a door. Let's go see what the door gets me. There was also that other fog gate there, too. Is that going to be a shortcut there or something? Yeah, let's say we got nuggies. Oh, and a Coke. Ah, thank you. Nuggies and a Coke. R was hangry. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. You invited your mom and your sister over? How dare they? God. <laughs> nah, it's all good. All right, let's go see what's in the gate. Do we get fries? Wait, so there's two fog gates here? Hang on, there's two fog gates? What's the other fog gate? What the fuck are you? I'm eating a nugget. I'm eating a fucking nugget. All right. I'm eating a goddamn fucking nugget. I deserve a nugget. Here. We all have nuggets. Here. Anger nugget. Maybe the angriest nuggets I've ever eaten. What did I mean from Slay the Spire? Try again. Whoops, wrong button. Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. Are you serious? How many fucking ads does this fight need? Dude, I'm getting my, I'm getting my ass kicked by just him. You didn't need five skeletons with him. That was insanely bullshit. That was utterly bullshit. That was utterly bullshit. Wow. Utter bullshit on that one. If there was no extra skeletons here, like I, I <laughs> this game. He's hit me through the fucking- Oh my god! Holy fuck! What is this? You're kidding! This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. 
This... I think the game, with some fights, the game for me is crossing a line where here is this absolutely insane thing and all of this. Like, I feel like a line is being crossed here. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying the game. Oh my goodness. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I just can't move because I'm stuck. I'm probably dead. I'm, I guess I'm dead. I'm just dead. Wow. So getting hit by that attack. See, the thing about getting hit by that attack is an instant kill because the other enemies are there and they also shred you. So like they also fucking shred you to pieces. So also it's an attack where he literally. J no, I was mashing. You can't mesh out of it. I tried. Also, there's no telegraphing on it. Like the ball builds up and then it just shoots. So it's like, I have no idea when it's going to fire. It, it could have fired then. It could have fired later. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't like this fight at all. I really don't like this. I'm dead. There's no end. I'm already dead. All right, really funny, Mediogre. Wow. Hilarious. Maybe the other fog gate gets rid of the extra skeletons. I don't know, maybe. Enjoy the food. Well, I mean, it wouldn't because I can kill these skeletons, right? If there was a necromancer, I couldn't kill them, so there's no way. Can you ride your horse in here? No. <laughs> no, just... This is just absurd, man. Fucking absurd. You know, in some ways, you kind of. We always talk about FromSoft and we think they've learned their lesson from stuff like why do people hate the Capra Demon fight? And the, the truth is that they've never learned. That's the truth. The truth is that they've never learned. They've never actually learned. Day two, honeymoon is over. No, no. I've definitely run into some fights that I feel like are really awful, but I'm still having a really good time. I mean, even Sekiro, dude. Sekiro is like, here's Juzo the drunkard and like 17 enemies. <laughs> <laughs> even 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 Sekiro was like that too, dude. Sekiro does it as well. They've never learned. They'll never learn. It's just what they do.
No. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. No! God damn it! I can't do anything! Fuck sake, man! For fuck's sake! What a fucking joke! Just to get rid of his fucking add-ons. Oh my god. Great. What a fucking beautiful fucking sack of shit this fucking thing is. What a fuck. Oh my god. This is. I just. Buys this thing. Holy shit, I hate this thing. Oh, great. Oh, he's having a great time. Great. I love it. I love it. I love the misses. I love it. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to fucking lose it versus this thing. I, oh my god, you are the fucking worst! You are the worst! You can't even hit him! What do you want? And, oh my god! What in the fuck? Fucking trash. Fucking trash fight. Oh my god, I hated that. Holy shit. Bro. Just dealing with the fucking add-ons was giving me an aneurysm. Forget this fucking guy running after me. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fucking hitting me. I missed the chest. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I've run into a couple of fights today that really made me mad. I missed it. Where did I miss the chest? I've a couple of fights that really made me mad today. Are you sure? I don't see a chest. This is the one we open. Are you sure? Yeah, I know. I know. We're going to go to the other one. We're going to go to the other one. Yeah. All right, so the other one was ride the blades up, right? Oh, man. I think this has cured me of my love of exploring these caves. <laughs> you can't! You can't even go five feet! You can't go five feet in this fucking hole! 
You can't go five fucking feet in this hole. This isn't a cave. It's fucking goddamn Vietnam, dude. Two feet out of the goddamn helicopter, you get cut down by machine gun fire. This isn't a fucking hole, dude. It's numb. It's fucking, I can't do shit in here. What are I gonna do? Fight all 70 respawning skeletons? It's fucking numb, dude. Please stop shooting me. Please stop shooting me for five seconds. What's in here? Black Knife Assassin. So, if I die to this guy, I gotta run back through all that shit. Do you really expect me to run back through all that shit? Because I'm just going to go away. I'm not coming back for this shit. Please stop hitting me for one second. Come on with this grab! Oh, bro, come on. Like, at least give me a chance. Assassin Cerulean Dagger. So there was another boss. Two bosses in this fucking area. Two bosses, man. Oh, man. If I had died to him, I, I might have just left because I really didn't want to do that run back. Might have just fucking left. Uh, so it's not a weapon. What did I? What did I even get? Assassin cerulean dagger. Oh, it's like a rune. Critical hits restore FP. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Who cares? All right. Well, we got it. I guess. Who cares? I care. Fucking. This is all, this is all, take a minute, find our moment of zen, because this fucking cave, this fucking cave drove me insane. <laughs> this fucking cave drove me insane. Hmm. Where is Dung Eater? Yeah, I really kept my cool through there. 
Call me cool headed barb. <laughs> Day two molding is real. Definitely. They call me Cool Hand Barb. Provecho Barb. I was losing it in that skeleton fight. I barely, barely clutched that one out. I barely clutched that one out. I almost died versus that team. Hmm. Fuck that cave. Time for happy thoughts and nuggets. Eat some lettuce. I only eat three things. Nuggets, fries, and... <laughs> I don't think I'm on the front page. I don't think I am, but... I was going to say something else. You know the rest. An ass. Sure. Yeah, I look forward to seeing myself on the rage compilations. You know what's fun? You know what sucks the most? That the rage compilations They show you they show you dying and they show that, but they never show the moment of triumph. Because nobody cares about the moment of triumph. Um I think I'm getting chased by a giant bear. I do. Uh, maybe I should go to a different area. Maybe I should go back south somewhere. All right. I actually am asking. I'm actually like, so I'm going to ask this question in uh, like a slow. I'm going to ask this question. Not like I want to know like the exact answer specifically. So I'm going to ask this question slowly. Have, have you in chat found a place to reliably get the shards to upgrade weapons at the base level? Like a, a merchant or a place? Have you found, like a yes or no? Have you found that area? I haven't found that shit, man. <laughs> that pisses me off. That pisses me off because I would love to like try the claws and shit. I don't know how I missed that. I really don't know how I missed that. I feel like wherever it is, it's probably somewhere way in the south or something. No, it's fine. I was just asking if you I was asking if people had found it or not. Okay, let's uh can we go into this tower? I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. It's it's not here though. This is this is um I mean, I obviously don't know for sure, but to me, this area is like a mid. Let's go here. This is like a mid game area, I think like mid. And what I'm looking for is like an early game area, I think. And I haven't found it. You haven't played. Yeah, it says it talks about mining areas. I don't think I found anything that constitutes them. The only mine I found was one that like it forcefully teleported me there. I remember ransacking the place as I ran out and I didn't get any of the stones I needed. Like I didn't get any of I didn't get any shards. Was the moon lady the final boss? You're kidding, right? There's probably like dozens of more bosses along the way. <laughs> There's probably dozens of bosses. The only reason I ask about those shards is that I would really like to mess around with all these other weapons like the claws and whatever. That's the only reason why I ask. Okay, I don't think we've been inside this tower. Can we get inside this tower? I think a ton of, I think a fuckload of the bosses in this game are completely optional. Yeah. I think a lot of them are totally optional. Like that cave I was just in, you absolutely don't have to do that cave. And, and, and thank God for that. <laughs> Cause holy fucking shit, man. That cave was rough. Shit. 
Oh, man. Seventy percent of bosses are optional. Uh, your pants. Thank you for the eighteen months. You can tell this game is too hard for you. It's going to be impossible for you if you never try it. And that goes for all the Souls games. Everything seems worse. Like looking at it from afar and when you actually like play it, it's nowhere near as bad as you think it is. You'll be fine. That said, don't go in that cave I was just in. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> Do not go in there. Take it from me. You're right, it's worse. The weird thing about Super Mario World hacks is that people look at people who are really, really good at them and they're like, oh, pff, I could do that. I think that's kind of weird. It's like, it's not that we could just do it, it's that we put so much work into it, you know? So how do I go down? I guess it must be there where I, where I died. Yeah, but the, what you're not remember, what you're not realizing is that that's how everybody started dying repeatedly in Undead Bird. That's how everybody started. Uh, Desufin, thank you for the 37 months. Your pants, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Bro, I just want to go down here. <laughs> I can't go down here, man. I died repeatedly in the, in the tutorial area. How many hours in am I? Uh, 13, 14, something like that. Something like that. Your roll timing is awful. Uh, yeah, I mean, it takes time. You get better at it. I don't know what the no fall damage ring does, but it doesn't, it doesn't do what it says it does. <laughs> It's a troll ring, yeah. Petting the dogs. All right, well, that's where I died. The key area of the tutorial killed you so many times. Have I done that? If I, I don't know if I've done that. Okay, let me get off the horse. This is probably going to be a lot easier if I just go here. <laughs> oh god, I got like... I swear I got like vertigo there for a second. <laughs> Did I beat the first boss at the start? Uh, which are, which first boss are you talking about? I have killed every boss we've come across. I have not. I haven't like. Oh, I'll do that later. I've killed every boss at this point. Some of them made me really mad. Well, some of them made me. Uh, let's let's say some of them made me a little a little peeved, a slightly peeved. I've been a little peeved at some of the bosses. Well, I don't even know where that guy is. I don't even know where that guy is. Mm -hmm. A pinch miffed. Yeah, slightly. Just a little. Just a little. Fuck you, pot. You too, baby pot. Okay, it's a house with no doors. Oh, there's the door. Okay. Not the pot. Oh God, you know. Uh. 
uh ishmael thank you so much for the 24 months thank you ishmael appreciate it call me ishmael I was like, is this pot going to come alive? <laughs> so the pot is necessary for crafting. That I understand. What I don't understand is what do I want to craft with the pot? That's like, oh, that's why I want the pot. Was this place called Jarberg? That's supposed to be a play on jars. <laughs> Is that what that was supposed to be? Oh, well, they call it Pot Potsville. Okay. Everybody loves Potsville. Oh, uh, no comfort ahead. Thank you. Good thing you play online crackpot. If you didn't play online. How could you get such valuable messages and info? So I don't see, uh, I don't see So like this area. How do you get on this big, you see this big tower and this big bridge? How the fuck do you get in here? Right? Kind of seems like there's no way in. What if uh, to get in here, you got to go from underground and that's how you enter? What if that's how you do it? Like the entrance to this place is, is in the underground and you go up through, right? You got a Pottsville and a Pottstown in your area? What if that's how you do it? Could be a teleporter. Yeah, could be that. Hidden path ahead. Bullshit. Bullshit. Fucking liar. Bullshit. Oh, God only knows where we are. It is weird that this area just exists and there's like nothing else to do here, right? Okay, well, I guess there's, I guess that's it. Let me go back this way, I guess, and see if there's anything this way. Like a farming area to you. Yeah, maybe this is, maybe this town exists like, oh, you needed pots for crafting. Go to, go to Jarsburg and get a fuckload of pots. Like maybe that's why this area exists. Beautiful. Okay, I guess we're done here. Uh, Black Knife Catacombs, East Rhea. Let's travel there, I guess. Let's see what we can find there.